Hello and welcome to another Indie Horror Game. This time I'll be playing a game called Lake Haven Chrysalis, and if you'd like to play it for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description for you, alright? This is going to be an old school style third person survival horror game, a little bit like the early Resident Evils and Silent Hills. And in this game I'm going to be playing as that man there, a detective sent out to investigate the potential disappearance of a woman, a woman that hasn't been seen or heard from in a number of days. He thinks it's going to be a standard, run-of-the-mill kind of case, one that's easily forgotten. If anything though, it's going to be unforgettable. Like I hope the video is, I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, it really does help me out, alright? But let's begin a new game of Lake Haven Chrysalis. The words he used to explain the case were so usual in my line of work. A woman in her late twenties, last seen a few weeks ago. But this time, something was off. I felt it in my bones. I wouldn't be coming home tonight. Ooh, why is that? Ah, oh, well, no wonder. You're driving upside down, you maniac. Alright, so this is the woman's house. This is the place that we're going to be investigating. And my eyes are instantly drawn to what seems to be a well at the back of the property with candles on it. Maybe that's what I should investigate first. But here we are, in control. So you can play this with a controller. I am opting to use a keyboard and uh, just a keyboard actually. I don't think the mouse gets involved in this one. <laughs> so I can walk around, I can run around. Uh, let's see. It's right shift to get my gun out, and I probably just killed a rabbit, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I don't have any items right now. Did I use my one and only bullet? Oh dear. <laughs> let's hope I've got a few more rounds somewhere. Uh, but let's see, before we start investigating, I want to investigate if I can leave. No? Okay, uh, maybe there's going to be something in the back, in the trunk. No? Alright, well, let's get going. That is one bright full moon. Here we are, though. I'm liking the camera angles already. What have we got over here, then? The mailbox is stuffed with unopened mail. Which, of course, we're going to read. Letters from Marianne. September 22nd, 1988. Okay. Dear Eleanor, I'm writing this letter because I don't know what else to do. You didn't respond to any of my phone calls. Are you alright? I heard about what happened between you and James, and while I know it's difficult to cope in these kinds of situations, locking yourself away is the worst thing you can do, dearie. I would drive over to check in on you in person, but my hips have still not quite recovered from the op. You're always welcome here, though, Eleanor. You know that. Your friend, Marianne. Okay, here's another one. Dear Eleanor, it's been two weeks since I sent you my letter. I'm really concerned about you. Please give me a sign that you're okay. October 3rd now. Dear Eleanor, I really don't want to do this, but if I don't hear from you soon, I'll have to contact the police. Which is why I'm here, I suppose, to investigate. Alright. Okay, so, let's see. The front door is locked. Alright, let's go home. <laughs> no, let's, let's have a look around the grounds, shall we? Uh, doesn't look like I can go this way. Over here. Alright, there's a vehicle. Looks like it hasn't been driven in a while. Hmm, alright. I check the other side, maybe? Hmm, no, it doesn't look like it. Right. How about I go up to the front door, the porch, and we go around the back? Yeah, I really do want to have a look at this well. And there it is. 
Right, so there's no side entrance. And it doesn't look like there's a back entrance either. What's this? It's a letter. Dear Eleanor. Oh, this is from James. Dear Eleanor, I can't take it anymore. Last night, I could hardly recognize you. You're not the woman I met at college. You are not the woman I fell for. You're not the woman I married. I know you've had a rough few months, but so have I. Right now, I have to look after myself because I sense some terrible purpose behind your gaze, and I fear for my safety. Please forgive me for leaving you here. With love, James. So for some reason, he abandoned her here. Can we look in? Ah, the windows are very dirty. It's hard to see what's in there. But I can hear a voice emanating from inside. Well, that could be her. Might not be, though. What have we got here? Ooh, it's all chained up. There's a trap door to the basement. It's bound by heavy chains. A padlock is securing the chains. Right, so I'm going to need to either break the padlock or the chains or find a key, I suppose. Yeah, we can't go around to the other side of the house. What's this? Oh boy. Has Eleanor been buried here, do you think? Maybe James? There's a mound of loose dirt. Maybe there's something buried here. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. I guess I'll need to uh, to find something to, to dig that up. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's see, where's the well? Over here? Alright. There's an old ladder leading down the well. Descend the ladder? No. <laughs> Not yet. I don't think I'm quite ready to die. Uh, over here? Can we go through? Oh, we can! Oh, lovely! Alright. Okay, so it looks like we've got a barn. Sure. Let's see. Can we go straight in? Oh, we can this time. Okay, so what am I going to find in the barn? Maybe I can grab a pitchfork here. Nah, the stables are empty. I wonder where the animals went. I was wondering if maybe I could use that to, to dig up that loose dirt. Alright. What about... Ah! It's a shovel. It looks like it's seen better days. But still, I can dig it. <laughs> will I take the shovel? Yes, I will. Alright. Fantastic. That will be my first inventory item. Hopefully not the last. So, yeah, no animals here, yeah? They're empty. Hmm. Something in the foreground? Just the cameraman. Can we go up here? We can. Okay. Stacks of hay. Um. But I don't see much else. Hang on, yeah, let's, let's come forward to the camera here. Alright, hang on, what's this? We've got a table, a little desk, and a book. The Golden Arrow? It's an old-looking book. You're damn right I'm going to take the book. Alright. And what was that on top? It looked like a dart. A dart being used as a bookmark? There it is. So we can use inspect and combine items. I guess let's inspect, right? Let's see what this is all about. Alright, so we can rotate it. Let's open it up. <laughs> All of the pages are blank. Hmm. Strange. And what's this? Yeah, what is this? Is it a dart? No. Oh, it's it's a dried poppy. Fair enough. Okay. Um, the golden arrow. The golden arrow. It's some kind of fairy tale, but I haven't heard of it. What does it say on the back? Nothing. Strange. Okay. But it looks like we have separated the dried poppy. That's interesting. Um, can I inspect this? It's a dried poppy. It was used as a bookmark. I could think of something better to use as a bookmark. But I don't want to right now. <laughs> Alright, that just seems like a very strange detail to me. There's nothing on it. It doesn't look like it. All right. okay. Okay. Uh, we've got the shovel, we've got the book, we've got the dried poppy. Anything else up here? I don't think so. No, it doesn't seem like it. Right, let's run down the other side here. Nothing down there in the hay? No, don't think so. Alright, well, um, I think that was the barn. Maybe let's get out of here and let's explore a little bit further. Alright, so around here? It's too dark over there. I can barely see anything. 
even with a flashlight. Wow. <laughs> okay, we're not going that way. What about the other side? Uh, all right, we've got this silo here. The door won't budge. Right, okay. Around the back? Hey. Okay, what's this? Is that a little doll? A little toy? I can't seem to use it. Alright, that's strange. I can't walk past it either. Is that some sort of like Easter egg maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Weird. Alright. Um, looks like that's kind of that. Uh, can we go in the field here? I don't want to get mud all over my good shoes. No, I suppose not. Okay, all right. Well, I have a shovel. I might not want to get mud on my shoes, but I do want to dig up some dirt. All right. So, let's see. Use. You use the shovel. Is it a body? No, it's not. The, the shovel's handle came loose. Okay. And I'm keeping that for some reason. Interesting. There is something in there, though. It's a key. It's a key. Okay. It's a simple, small key. Of course I will. Right, a simple, small key. Is that going to be for a simple lock down here? Do you think it could be for the padlock? It could be. Let's give it a go. No, I can't use that here. Maybe it's for the maybe it's for the door. Hmm. Let's go around. Let's see if that's going to work. Although a simple small key doesn't seem like it. No, I can't use that here. So where do I use it? Hmm. All right. I think I'm ready to die now. <laughs> let's go check out the well. This time, yes, I will descend the ladder. And maybe live to regret it? Maybe I'm going to find Eleanor down here. Alright, there's something on the wall, actually. It looks like a diary entry. Diary entry 1 and 2. 1985. Dear Diary, Last night I had the most frightening dream. I was lost in a large hall with giant stone columns set upon an ever-expanding marble floor with a chessboard pattern. There were four men standing in front of me, taunting me, laughing at me, and telling me that I won't be the same person afterwards. What did they mean? Three of them had their faces covered with strange tendrils and flowers. The fourth man's face was also obscured, but somehow he felt different to the others. Somehow, I felt empathy from him. All I could think about is how I wanted him to just turn around and tell me everything would be okay. But he seemed to be looking for someone else. Alright. Dear Diary. I am so tired. The creeps from my dreams refuse to let me sleep. Every time I'm about to drift off, one of them appears, whispering thoughts in my ear that I dare not write down lest I make these abominable things real. I don't want to tell James what's happening to me. As kind as he is, what man would stay with someone broken as I? Ah, okay. What's going on with Eleanor, I wonder? Oh, wow, okay. What sort of place is this? The cavern is blocked by some heavy stone doors, and it looks like there's a space to put something in one of the doors. Yeah, there's a there's a gap in the, the middle right slot. Hmm, alright. Let's see then. Over here? An invisible barrier, apparently. Okay. Towards the camera? Alright. Wow, okay, this is this is pretty expansive. Okay. What on earth have we got here? Oh, look at that. That's definitely a door, isn't it? There's a relief in the wall. It looks like something can be set here. Okay. And something over there as well, by the looks of it. But what's this? Oh, it's a key! Okay. And some blood. Judging by the blood stain, it appears to be a sacrificial altar. A large stone plate depicting a chimera is fixed to the wall behind it. A key is resting on the altar. It's a heavy key. Will I take the heavy iron key? Yes, I will. I fear what's going to happen when I do, though. 
Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay. <laughs> all right. Woo! <laughs> so, yeah, this, again, is, uh, is a relief. A relief in the wall. Okay. So it looks like I'm looking for two things to be set there. And maybe I'm looking for something to be put on the altar? I don't know. So that heavy iron key. Let's see. It's beautifully crafted. Hmm. Could that be for the padlock? Or maybe for the front door? Perhaps. Right, okay. I think we're done for now, so let's see. <laughs> nice close-up. Nowhere else to go? Nowhere else to go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I think I've overstayed my welcome, to be honest. Alright. Up and out we go. I'm gonna try the front door first. Yeah. If it's not that, it's probably for the padlock on the, the basement hatch. Oh no! There we go. I used the heavy iron key right there. It's the front door key. And we're in. Right. Ooh. Eleanor? Hang on. Oh. It looks like I was too late. Yeah. By my estimates, she's been here for over a week. She appears to have suffered several lacerations. Although the ultimate cause of death remains unclear. I should search the area for clues. I'll get to the bottom of this. Right. Okay, the TV's still playing. It's a nature documentary, right. Maybe that's what I heard when I listened through the window. Mm, okay, alright. You didn't deserve this. Right, yeah, let's see if we can find out what happened. We've got a clock over here. Oh, okay, hang on, it's a grandfather clock. But wait, the hands. The hands are missing! Right, okay. <laughs> That's an old school survival horror trope if I've ever seen one. What have we got here? The table is still set for dinner. What happened here? And what is that? What, okay, it's some kind of slimy old meat. I don't recognize its source. Maybe I should take it as evidence. Should I take the rotten flesh? Probably not, but yes. Okay. Yeah, stuff that in your pocket. Okay, looks like we've got some stairs up and another door. What about here in the foreground? Okay, the sort of kitchen area. Is there something? Oh, hang on. Ooh, it's a rusty key. Yeah, okay, well, if the heavy iron key's not for the padlock outside, maybe the rusty key is. So, let's see, anything else? Yeah, it looks like another diary entry. This time it's three and four. Dear diary, I told James everything today. I wasn't able to keep it secret anymore. I can't even remember the last time I slept. Over the last few weeks he has shown much concern for me. He says I'm looking pale and that I have not been acting myself. I have tried to get him to understand the glimpses of truth that I've witnessed, but he just looks at me like I'm crazy. He even asked me if I was on drugs. He doesn't know me at all. I have to sleep, but how many more times will I be safe to enter my dreams until they finally get me? Dear Diary, I'm feeling much better since the doctor prescribed me the antipsychotic medication. He says I'm not psychotic, he just gave me them off-label for sleeping. When I take them, I'm knocked unconscious within an hour, and I evade the dreams entirely. It's so relieving to wake up in the morning, even if my limbs feel as though they're weighed down by sandbags. I can live again. I don't know what was going on. I'm not hungry, yeah, especially not after seeing that rotten flesh. Um, all right, over here, we've got a door. The door is locked. All right, well, let's see what we've got upstairs. I guess I I could be holding the key to it, but I'll, I'll try that later. Let's see. Oh, wow, why is it so dark up here? <laughs> There's got to be a light switch or something. That's illuminated. Is that... Uh, hang on. It's a painting... It's a painting of a valley of poppies. Right, maybe I need to put the poppy here. Maybe this has something to do with the poppy I found. Yeah. Aha! There's a small button on the frame. Push the button? Yes. Okay. 
Ooh, what's that? Oh, there's a secret compartment behind the painting. All those years of blindly poking at buttons are finally paying off. <laughs> Tell me about it. All right. It's another key. Okay, it feels good in my hand. It's an iron key. All right, well, yeah, sure. <laughs> I started with nothing, and now my inventory is bursting at the seams. Okay, is that a light? The light- oh, the light bulb's missing. It's so dark in here, I can barely see anything. Hmm. I can't examine that painting. I think it's it's just the one with the, the poppies. Alright. What about down here, though? <laughs> it's hard to say, honestly. We've got a door here. The doorknob is missing. There's no way to enter. Right. What is coming out of the door frame? Okay, there's another one over here, too. Uh, it's locked. There's a crescent moon engraved on the doorknob. Okay. That probably means we're going to need a special key. What about this one? Okay, this one's unlocked. Right, okay, it's the bathroom. Wait, oh, what happened here? Silent Hill 4? <laughs> Is that another key? There are some boards nailed to the wall. And I thought I was bad at DIY. I can see something shiny in there. Right. I don't want to leave behind anything incriminating. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, there's a, there's a good excuse. This bathroom hasn't been cleaned for a long, long time. But this is just an ordinary shower. Uh, there's nothing in the machine here. No, it doesn't look like it. Right, I'm going to need to find something to pull those boards off. A hammer, crowbar, something like that. Okay. Oh, another diary entry. Okay. Diary entry five. There's someone else in the house besides me. I thought that James had come home early from visiting his sister in Lake Haven, but there's no sign of his car, so it can't be him. I keep hearing an unsettling sound coming from the attic. It sounds like a mixture of whispering and slithering. I think I'm hearing that right now, actually. I finally mustered the courage to investigate the attic. To my surprise, there wasn't a single living soul in sight, but my eyes must have betrayed me, as I could still hear this incessant whispering, as if it's been spoken through my bones. Right. I don't know about the whispering, but I can certainly hear the slithering, and to be honest, I think it's... I think it's this stuff. It's moving around the door frame. Right, okay, okay. So, let's see, I've got this uh, rusty key and an iron key. Surely one of them is going to unlock the door by the stairs down here, right? If I had to guess, that would be to the basement. Let's see. The iron key? Yes, it is! Okay, fantastic! And we're in. And... It's not to the basement. We're not going down. What's this? It seems to be a makeshift shrine of sorts. Only one of the verses is still legible. Read the verse? Absolutely. Mark 1, 9 to 11. Okay. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Right, okay. Seems like a strange thing to find. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Looks like we've got some supplies down here. Uh, and a heavy stone plate embossed with a depiction of an archer. Yes, I will. Yes, yes, yes. That's got to go down in the well, I imagine, right? We're looking for one more of those. Okay. Good stuff. Right. I, um, it wasn't as big an area as I was hoping for, to be honest. I do still have a rusty key. And I am wondering if it's for the rusty padlock outside. Yeah. That seems the most logical to me. So, let's go take a look. I'm enjoying this so far. Yeah, I hope you are as well. So, the rusty key. I used the rusty key. Fantastic. Okay. Right. So, this is our way down into the basement. Let's go. Alright. Well, it seems to be better lit than the, uh, the upstairs. What we got here? A toolbox? It's a toolbox! It's locked. I bet it is. I see a little keyhole. A little keyhole for a little key, right? 
Yeah? I use the small key. Brilliant. So inside, a hammer? A crowbar? Something like that? Yeah, it's a crowbar. Brilliant. Okay, well that's going to help with the boards in the bathroom. It's a crowbar. Holding this makes me want to grow a goatee. <laughs> yes, I will, because I am Gordon Freeman. Okay, nothing else in there? Nothing else in there. Okay. Look at this. There's a heavy metal door. It has a keyhole. Underneath the keyhole is another tiny hole. Curious. Right. Uh, yeah, maybe. No, I can't use that here. Hmm, okay. Um, <laughs> crowbar? <laughs> I think if I tried hard enough, I probably could. Um, the poppy doesn't go in that little hole, does it? Oh, all right. Strange. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll have to come back to this a little bit later on. Right now, I think I want to go back upstairs and head back to that bathroom. So, let's see. The crowbar? All right. And yeah, I think there is another key beyond. The boards have been removed. Okay. Ah. Okay. That might be... Uh, that actually might be for the door across from here, yeah. It's a key. The top is shaped like a crescent moon. Yes, I will. Alright. Good stuff. So, if I leave and go straight across the hall... I think this is it, isn't it? Yeah, there's a crescent moon engraved on the doorknob. This has got to be it. Okay. And in we go. Alright. What have we got here? Uh, Alright, looks like someone's penciled in some numbers. Uh, the painting depicts the baptism of Jesus by John. Someone painted some numbers over it. I'm not exactly an art critic, but it probably looked better before the new editions. <laughs> right, yeah. Alright, so hang on, those numbers. The... the dove would be 60. John's 40 and, and Jesus is 15. Would these be where I need to put the clock hands when I find them, do you think? So maybe the dove needs to be, you know, pointing up to the 12. Uh, maybe John would be pointing at 8, and Jesus would be pointing at 3. Does that make sense? I just need to find the clock hands to, to try that out. Okay, there's something here. A page from a book. All right. Loose page number one. The people of the village looked on in terror as the beast's hideous visage crested the mound of rocks to the east. A wretched screech was enough to make all the king's men take flight. All bar one, that is. The valiant archer drew his bow in defiance and unleashed a devastating bolt of iron and oak that ripped through the chimera's heart with absolute divine authority. Wow, okay. And I'm taking that with me. What else have we got around here? Anything down here in the laundry basket? No? The mirror? Damn, I look tired. Maybe I should take a break. <laughs> Maybe you should. Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, there's no clothes in the wardrobe, but there is something. Was she planning to leave? Maybe. What the hell is that? A grappling hook? This could be useful. It's an old hook. Right. I wonder what it was used for. Will I take the hook? Yes, I will. I'm curious about something as well. Um, we can combine, right? I haven't actually had the, the need yet. Yeah, here we go. The handle? Is it working? It's working! I thought that looked off. There we go. Man, I'm like a psychic. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now we've got a hook with a handle. Great! I still don't know exactly where I'm going to use it, but cool. So that's it. The wardrobe is empty. That's all we're going to find. What's down here, then? Oh, all right. A steaming cup of coffee is resting on the table. The rich taste of coffee always helps me relax. Oh, really? This is how I save? Sure, why not? Sure. <laughs> Good old coffee. Progress saved. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, what about the other side of the bed here? Oh, yeah. Uh, we do have a time, actually. 23.59. It's nearly midnight. There are some diary pages laying on the drawer. 
Seven to nine, okay. James came back from his business trip today. Something seems off with him, but I can't put my finger on it. His eyes, have they always been green? What is he keeping from me? They're real. The three men are real. Why is James lying to me, telling me that I'm delusional? Last night, one of them was looming over me while we were in bed. I felt his hideous presence within two feet of me, and James still had the nerve to tell me it was all in my head. Probably sleep paralysis, he said. I don't want this to start all over again. Man. Yeah, she was really suffering, wasn't she? It's a double bed. One side looks more slept in than the other. Alright, well that makes sense. Okay, okay, so... Right. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to use that. Still got the crowbar. Oh, right, I've still got the archer plate. I suppose I should go down the well again, shouldn't I? Yeah, maybe that's my next move. So, it's not going to go there, but it should go down here somewhere. I don't know if it's going to go on the left or the right. Um, let's try the left one here. Archer plate. There we are. Use the archer plate. And it looks like it's the perfect fit. Yeah, it fits in the relief. What a relief. <laughs> I like this. Oh, I don't need both. Ooh. Hey, oh, hang on. Oh. It's a light bulb. Ah, that's where it is. Right, uh, yeah. Strange place to have it, but okay, all right. I thought I was going to find something more associated with this, you know, more associated with the sacrificial altar. So what's going to happen when I find a second one? Curious. Okay. But the light bulb, I know exactly where that goes, so let's get out of here and uh, let's get a better look at the upstairs area. So there it is. I'm right up against it, so hopefully this is going to fit. You use the light bulb. And it works. Brilliant. The lamp is switched on now. Right. Ah, I see. Okay. So, yeah, an attic was mentioned. There's a hatch in the ceiling. Pull the cord? Of course. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, is that why I've got the hook? The pull cord snapped. Either I'm stronger than I thought, or this is a pretty flimsy pull cord. Bit of both, maybe. Bit of both. But, yeah, hang on. Hook with the handle. That's why I've got it. Yes! Okay, I need to pull that down. I need to go into the attic. Okay. Yeah, that did the trick. Up we go. Uh, <laughs> you got any spare bulbs? There's a copy of that painting again. The, uh, the baptism one. No numbers on this one. Let's see. Anything over here? No. I'm just uh, looking around in all the corners, looking for prompts. It's Moontastic! <laughs> oh, hang on. Well, there's a safe. It's an old safe. It looks pretty solid despite its age. Turn the dial? Yeah, I suppose so. Maybe. Maybe the baptism thing. Maybe that actually wasn't to do with the uh, the clock hands. Maybe it's maybe it's a combination for the safe. Okay, I guess I'll just turn it one way then the other, then back the first way again. So what was it? I think it was sixty, forty, and fifteen. I just don't know in which order precisely. Okay, read the verse. Yes, please. So it starts with Jesus. Jesus was the fifteen, right? I'm just going to make a note of this. Yeah, Jesus is the 15, then it's John, so it'll be 40 next. And then finally it's going to be the dove, which was 60. So it should be 15, 40, 60. Okay. Alright, let's give that a try. Okay, here we go again. So we're going to start off with 15. I don't know if it really matters which way I do it to begin with. 15. Okay. And now we want to go to 40, the other way. Forty, and then back to sixty. Okay. Hey, it worked. Okay. Oh, there's the other one, right? And there's a loose page. All right. 
Loose page number two. As the creature writhed and squirmed in a pool of its own blood, the archer raised both of his hands directly above him and exclaimed, This is thy time, foul beast. Thy flesh thou shalt forfeit for the breadth of your sins. It was midnight when the final blow fell upon the beast. Its flesh was placed on an altar, and only then was the chimera's limp body set in its final resting place. Right. Okay, so we're going to take loose page number two. But I'm actually more concerned about this. Yes. Yes, I will. All right. So again, we're going to want to go back down to the well. And uh, then we're going to find what we get when we put both of them in. I'm very curious. I thought it was a door. It was actually just more of an opening. But maybe when I put two in, it's going to be more of a doorway. I noticed this a minute ago, actually. This doesn't sound right anymore. Yeah, it's playing, but not very well. Okay, here we are. So, the second one is going to go on the right. The Chimera plate. There we are. Okay. It's just like the one to my right, actually. I put it in, but nothing happened. I guess we've all been there. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. I like the game's sense of humor. I'll hold on to this for now. Maybe I'm missing something. It's like a, a smaller version of that one there, right? Yeah, okay. I don't, can I remove this one? It's set in the relief. No, I don't think so. I can't put this here. No space to put another plate. Right, I, I must have missed something then. Okay, well, let's let's inspect this. It's a heavy, square-shaped stone plate depicting a chimera. It appears to be very old, judging by the signs of weathering. Mm, is there something on the back? Huh, okay, alright. Um, that's got to be where it goes, but it's just not working. And I'm not really sure why. We've used that. Is there any other place to use it? The Rotten Flesh. I haven't used the Rotten Flesh. I've used the Heavy Iron Key, but I'm keeping it around. Maybe there's another use for that as well. The Poppy. Maybe I just needed to examine that to properly examine the painting. Oh, hang on, hang on. The, uh, the, the, the pages. They're not for the book, are they? Oh, this is all part of the Golden Arrow, I think. Ah, right, okay, so maybe we need to rebuild the book. So, yeah, okay, that's gone to the end. Combine that with that. Okay. I assume there's going to be loose page 3, 4, 5 as well. What is this exactly? Let's inspect it. <laughs> I've got no thoughts. I can't identify it. Why did I pick it up? This might sound like a stupid question, but is it Chimera Flesh? Is it like the story? Does it go here? Oh! It does! Oh, maybe the blood was coming from that thing then. Ah, the, the flesh is on the altar. But how did it end up on the dining table? I wonder what happens now. Oh! That, I guess. Bloody hell. Oh. Oh, clock hands! Okay, right. Yes, well, of course I'm going to take the clock hands. That's going to be the next move, surely. So it's not going to be the numbers that I found in the painting, because that was for the safe combination. I did see 2359 as the time, um, and I think in, in one of the diary entries, me uh, midnight was mentioned. So that's probably what I'm going to see if I can uh, set the clock to. Of course, there's still that door in the basement that I need to get through. I tried the crowbar with that, right? <laughs> I think I did, I think I did. Um, yeah, that documentary is really playing up. Um, clock hands. So it's just the hour and minute hands. Yeah, no seconds. The hands are in place now. Set the time? Yes. So let's 
Let's bring this to around midnight. 23.59 if I want to be specific. So about there. Okay. The hands won't- oh, the hands won't budge anymore. I guess that was it. Yeah, I, I guess there's nothing more to do here. But what did that do? What did that do? Nothing seems to have changed up here. That's still Moontastic? Oh, actually, no, there's a diary entry here. Oh, this is diary entry six! I missed this, okay. The voices are getting louder, and the way they rattle my bones becomes more and more unbearable by the day. I told James to follow me to the attic, but he said that he couldn't hear anything. He must be deaf not to hear such a cacophony. Either that, or he's lying to me. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is only affecting her, unfortunately. Yep, still Moontastic, but there's no real differences that I'm seeing up here. Definitely not a spooky ghost, no, thankfully. Alright, well, maybe the clock changed something somewhere else. Well, the doorknob hasn't returned, and there's still no way to enter, unfortunately. Huh. Let's try it again. It looks like it's working. But there's still... Oh no, no, no! That was it? That's what I needed to do before putting in that plate? Okay, alright, and another wall comes down revealing something else. What's that? Oh, that's the doorknob! Right, yeah, okay. Somewhere out there, there's a door missing this. Kinda sad if you think about it. Will I take the doorknob? Absolutely, yeah. That's where the slithering is coming from, that door. I wanna go through. I do still have a gun. I haven't had to use it yet, apart from to kill that rabbit at the very beginning, but... Yeah. Yeah, alright. That actually stumped me. I was walking around for far too long trying to figure out what to do. But yeah, it turns out you just need to complete the clock puzzle before you put the Chimera in its position. For whatever reason. Uh, right. Yeah. Upstairs we go. She's gone. And finally, the documentary's off as well. She hasn't slumped down? No, I don't think so. Right. Who turned the TV off? Well, it wasn't me. Hmm. Right, okay. Eleanor? <laughs> Where are you? Are you up here? Hmm. Okay. Uh, shouldn't I be getting a different camera angle? <laughs> What's going on here? Th Whoa! Okay, right. <laughs> For fuck's sake, hang on. Okay, what the- What the fuck's this? Hang on. Eleanor. Oh god. Alright. Okay, thankfully I've got more than that one round that I used. Oh god. Wow, she did not go down! Finally? What's going on behind me, though? Okay, well now now it's looking a bit more normal, but what the fuck was that? Oh, uh, right. There's no gaping chasm this time? No, it's, it's just the upstairs. And her body, right. Let's have a look. How did she do that? She was definitely dead, right? Or she seemed it. I'm so sorry that I had to kill you, but you were walking towards me like a zombie and I just couldn't take it. She's got something in her hand. Yeah, she's holding something. Oh, it, not a letter from James, but a letter to James. Dear James, I found out that you're living in your sister's house now. I'm so sorry for what I did to you. I never wanted to hurt you with the things I said. None of them were true. 
I love you. Please come back. I miss being here with you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, right. So, why did she get up right then and there? Like, what am I going to see beyond this door? We're going to find out in part two. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're going to open this right now. It fits. I should be able to use the door now. For better or worse. You know? <laughs> I'm going to go back and I'm going to save. I'm going to have another sip of that cup of coffee. Progress saved. Now that my progress has been saved, now I'm ready to die. Okay. In we go. Is that blood on the wallpaper there? Okay. What's this? What happened here? This room is damp and moldy. I'm already starting to feel dizzy. I shouldn't stay for too long. There's something sort of creeping along the ceiling here. Right. We've got a, an open window. It's broken. It still feels like there's not even a bit of fresh air here. I shouldn't stay for too long. Oh. Oh, this... This is the tablet that's going to go into that door. Surely. Yeah, there's an insignia of an angel carved into it. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Okay. Alright. Anything else before I depart? Something down here? Looks like a diary entry. Okay, this one... Okay, we've got 10 and 11 now. I knew it. James is one of them. Why is he doing this to me? The only thing I can feel is hatred. Every time he touches me, my skin crawls. I can't bear him being here. I told him to leave. James came back home, but this time something about him seems even more off than last time. I don't have any options left. The next passage is unreadable. It was crossed out several times. I dug a hole in the garden. I hope it's big enough. That was going to be James's grave. Wow. Wow. Okay. I think it's a good thing he left when he did. Anything in the box down here? No. Right. Yeah. Okay. We're out of here. I, I, I actually didn't get killed. I'm kind of surprised. And her body's still there. Right. <laughs> She's died twice now. Hopefully she doesn't get up again. Alright. So, next move, obviously, is to go back to the well. We need to climb down there one more time and then put that angel insignia in the door. But then, of course, where's that door going to take us? And we still haven't actually got through the, the basement door down there. Very curious about both of them. Let's start with the well, though. Alright, so that's going to slot into the right side of this door. Okay. Alright, it's in place. And that's all it takes. Oh, oh wow, okay. It goes even deeper. What on earth? What is this place? Right, it goes a long, long way down. Okay. Are these vines going past me? Right, probably don't want to get too close to the edge. Right, let's go down the stairs, I suppose. Oh, wow. <laughs> it goes even deeper still. I really should have called for backup at this point, right? Oh, man, okay. Here we are. Right, is this door going to work? Yeah, this one's unlocked. What the fuck? This is getting quite cosmic horror now, isn't it? What is this underground temple all about? Nice carpet, though. What? What the hell am I looking at? He is on his way to the east. She was alone, a prisoner of her rotting hollow of flesh and bones. 
and for a long time she didn't feel anything. Until the inner circle reached out its hand to her. The inner circle? Im Lewis or I'm Lewis? And suddenly she understood. She was dead, yet she lived. She went into a state of chrysalis, hence the name I suppose. She did well. I am so proud of her. He talks to a Sam. Just a coincidence? Who is this interjecting? Are we talking to like a hive mind or something here? Dying is living. Look at her. She looks like Eleanor. That's impossible. Right. Um, what is going on exactly? Can we talk some more? I was only trying to talk. I was only trying to talk. My e-press finished it off. Uh, and now I've got shards of glass on the carpet. Wonderful. Okay. This is getting real fucking weird. Um, if you have any ideas what that was all about, please let me know. <laughs> um, right. So it looks like we've got like a little sort of church down here. All these pews. The fire. Right. Okay. Up here. What's this? What is this? Hmm. It looks like it attaches to something. Will I take the strange iron shape? Yes, yes I will. Okay. It attaches to something, so wait, it, it's combined with something? Could be this. It is, isn't it? Oh, it's like a key extension, right. It, it did look a little bit like a, you know, the, the teeth of a key. Alright, so now I've got this strange iron shape. Is that what I use in the basement? Maybe, right? Maybe. So is this the end of the line? We can't go beyond this? That's that's a wall, it's not a door? <laughs> I can never tell. Um, right. Maybe I'm going to find some more pages down here. I, I, I think I need some context for what just happened, honestly. <laughs> Anything over here? Uh, I don't think so. The camera angle's not suggesting that I take a look. Anyway, <sighs> there's no other doors or anything either. Right. So, yeah. I, I don't know what to make of that. I'm really regretting pressing E. I, I, maybe I should have just left it alone and walked around it. <sighs> right, okay. Uh, let's Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Right. Okay. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's let's get out of here a little bit quicker, shall we? What is going on? Are these are these chains or vines or both coming up? Oh boy! What the hell's down there? What have I awakened? Okay. Go. 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 It's it's time to go. Oh man! This red mist. Get me out of this location. Oh, come on, come on. Detective, run a little bit faster. This way, this way. Oh, okay. I think that's actually hurting me. Okay, right, we... We're out of there. Hopefully we don't have to go back down in there either. Um, right. So, let's see, let's see. Is the key going to work on the basement door down here? Because there was, there was a keyhole and there was like a hole underneath it, right? Let's try this. Oh? Hmm. I guess I'll never know what the smaller hole was all about. Really? If I carry on further, I might not be able to turn back. Really? Use the basement key? Well, I, I, yes, but not right now. Wait, th there's something I'm missing, obviously. It's got a keyhole, and underneath is another tiny hole. What is going to fit in that tiny hole? I can't use the hook with it or anything, I assume? No, I think I tried the crowbar before. I tried the poppy as well. I haven't got much left. Unless, of course, I've just missed something. Maybe we're not meant to find anything, or it's meant to remain a mystery? Or it's got something to do with that doll behind the barn. I'm still confused about that as well, but... Okay. 
Let's get through this door. I am too curious. I, I can't say no again. I've got to go through. Yes, I'm really going to use the basement key. All right. And through we go. Right. Okay. Not a spooky ghost. That's good. Uh, we've got a couple of paintings. And a lot of pipe work. Oh. Oh. What the? Wait, hang on. Was that me? I'm playing as my own reflection? Wait, what the? What is going on here? Hang on. I can't leave. I can't go back. What the fuck? What on earth is going on? This is much more surreal than I was expecting. Maybe I needed to put something into the door to get on the right side of the mirror so I wasn't playing as my own reflection, or... I... I have no idea what's going on. But I'm really enjoying it, I've got to say. And it's not over! It's not over yet! Right, where the hell are we now? This is looking familiar. Isn't this uh, how Eleanor described her dream at one point, with the, the sort of chessboard pattern, the checkerboard pattern on the floor? Are we going to see people with masks? There's something up ahead. Hang on. It's a phone. Right. Yeah, I should call for backup right now. <laughs> oh, the phone's disconnected. Of course it is. Who would I even call? Anyone. Anyone. Right. Um. Doesn't look like there's anything that way. Let's keep on going this way, shall we? It just keeps on going. Uh, okay, maybe maybe that's not the way I want to go. Maybe I should go to the left or the right. Let's go to the right here. I must be in a dream myself. Or at least... I don't know. I, I, <laughs> in some other dimension. The same one that Eleanor visited. Based on what I read, she didn't have a good time here. In fact, she wanted to stay away from this place at any cost, even taking the antipsychotic drugs. So far, it seems alright. So far. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Maybe I should just sort of commit in one direction and hope for the best. Okay, hang on. That's a phone. That's the same phone that I was at before, I think. I've just been looping around. Okay. I can't call anyone, but someone can call me. Yes, answer the phone. When the moon is bright, hiding under all that might, a subtle whimper barely leaves his mouth as he struggles to breathe. Will this tale ever end? Okay. Oh, it's changed. Yeah, this is so much more surreal than I thought it was going to be. It did resemble something more like Resident Evil and Silent Hill at the beginning, you know? Now, what I'm reminded of, what this brings to mind, is something like Twin Peaks. Yeah, this is quite Lynchian, actually. Alright, hang on. We've got another table, another phone. Looks like there's a nice glass of wine for you. Oh. And who might this be? Is that Eleanor? Okay.
<laughs> this is so Twin Peaks. That's Laura Palmer right there. Okay. What am I writing down? What is she telling me? Why is it snowing? Where's the wine going? I've got so many questions. And that is how it ends. A mind-bending and surreal conclusion to Lake Haven Chrysalis, everyone. But don't worry. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier on in the playthrough. Maybe I didn't. But this is merely just the prologue to a game coming out later called Lake Haven. And presumably, in that game, that's where we're going to get our answers. That's where we're going to get some context. That's where we're hopefully going to understand what happened in the last quarter or so of the game. Because, yeah, for the last 20 minutes or so, I mean... I've just been so confused, but mesmerized. I really, really want to know what's going to happen next. This has been a perfect tease, honestly. I, I, I can't help but play the main game now, and I'm sure there's going to be many of you feeling the same way. So if you do want to see me tackle the main game when it comes out, let me know about it down below in the comments or by liking the video, okay? Sensational experience, really mesmerizing and mysterious ending, and I can't wait to play more. Thanks for watching, see you next time. I wouldn't be coming home tonight. Ooh. It's right shift to get my gun out, and I probably just killed a rabbit, I'm so sorry. The front door is locked, all right, let's go home. Descend the ladder? No. <laughs> Not yet, I don't think I'm quite ready to die. Around the back? I... Okay, what's this? Oh, wow, okay. What sort of place is this? But wait, the hands. The hands are missing! Right, okay. <laughs> That's an old school survival horror trope if I've ever seen one. Okay. Ooh! Holding this makes me want to grow a goatee. <laughs> yes, I will, because I am Gordon Freeman. Someone painted some numbers over it. I'm not exactly an art critic, but it probably looked better before the new additions. <laughs> it fits in the relief. What a relief. <laughs> hey, it worked, okay. So about there. Okay. She's gone. <laughs> What's going on here? Th Whoa, okay, right. <laughs> For fuck's sake, hang on. Okay, what the? What the fuck's this? Hang on. I dug a hole in the garden. I hope it's big enough. That was going to be James's grave. Wow. I really should have called for backup at this point, right? Nice carpet, though. What? What is going on exactly? Can we talk some more? I was only trying to talk. I was only trying to talk. Oh, okay, let's, let's get out of here a little bit quicker, shall we? What the? Wait, hang on. Was that me? Ah, oh, the phone's disconnected. Of course it is. Who would I even call? Anyone! <laughs> this is so Twin Peaks. That's Laura Palmer right there.